Welcome to the Omicron Protocol Learn to Play video series. In this seventh video, we will talk about how to set up and play the solo slash co-op mode that we created with the help of our community. To play the solo mode, we start with how to set up is different from the skirmish mode. The scenario and the player starting zones for each scenario remain the same. The Sims' initial starting positions also remain the same, but the way Sims are added to the board is different because each type of Sims can have different abilities dictated by the solo deck. In this example, with the research console scenario, we start with six different Sims. For each Sims we want to place in a starting position, we draw a solo card from the solo deck and lay it next to the board. As you can see, each card has a type of Sims on it. And when you draw a card from that deck, you pick the Sims model and place it in one of the starting positions. When you finish drawing all six Sims cards, make sure you have the correct types that match the cards that you and you are ready to start. Let's look at the six cards drawn. As you can see, some Sims have multiple cards drawn, and some only have one. The biggest difference between the solo and the skirmish modes of the game is that each type of Sims will have unique new abilities dictated by the cards drawn. The more cards drawn for a particular type of Sims, the more powers they have. Therefore, if you have three of the same type of Sims on the board, they will all have all three abilities listed on the cards that are active. This definitely changes how you play tactically, as it forces you to prioritize dealing with certain Sims rather than what, be most, what might be most convenient for scoring points. Speaking of elimination, every time you take out a Sims model of one type, you may choose one of its ability cards and discard it. When you eliminate the last Sims of any type, you remove all types of cards and they are discarded. The goal of the solo slash co-op mode is to score a certain amount of points in a limited number of rounds. Winning conditions for each scenario will vary. The number of points and rounds will be listed in the scenario rules. It is easy to adjust the difficulty to your liking. If you feel like you want more of a challenge, or you feel overwhelmed by the mass of super-powered sims on the board, take a look at the solo co-op mode section of the rulebook and see all the options for adjusting difficulty. Now, go for it. Save yourself from the apocalypse happening in San Lazaro.